What's up guys, in today's video, we are talking about the best AR to use right now in season six. I know a majority of you guys absolutely live and die for the Kilo. In today's video, I'm gonna showcase you why the AMAX and why the M4 is definitely an excellent weapon you should use. In today's video, we're gonna showcase in the time to kill of all three weapons, showcasing the class types of the AMAX and M4 that are better than the Kilo, in my opinion, to help give you guys a little bit better of a loadout to try now in the end of season six going into black ops cold war so started off obviously you guys can see on the screen the kilo class you guys already know this is the same weapon everybody uses the prowler barrel the biggest negative obviously the prowler barrel is a long long barrel it 100 percent chunks your mobility when you swap to that amax i 100 percent recommend using the attack laser it's one of the best attachments as far as the improvement it gets on the amax is top five in the game Obviously improves your idle space stability, improves your overall recoil, which in my opinion helps make this a god gun. The time to kill of this weapon is actually faster than the MP5 by 50 milliseconds, which is 10% faster, which you might notice in game. Obviously, if it's more competitive and kills faster than MP5, which is the secondary weapon ever used with the Kilo, is definitely recommended to use as far as the class setup for each weapon. This is going to be with the AMAX. I recommend stacking it with the Sniper. Like I said, this gun kills faster than the MP5. So if you're going to be running it, you probably run it with a long range Sniper, SPR, HDR, whatever you're comfortable with. The M4 class is going to be the same. This is more of a close range to mid range weapon. It has a little bit more range than that of the AMAX. So you can still once again pair it with a little bit of a longer sniper, not something like a, a marksman rifle like the Car 98 or something that's a little bit better in the mid range. You can use a long range sniper with the M4, but the class that I do recommend, the TAC laser is actually the number one attachment to use for the M4. Out of every gun in the game, the TAC laser is best with the M4 out of all the guns. It gives the best improvement to the M4. And the biggest difference between the M16 Grenader Barrel and the Covis Custom Corps Marksman is you get a bit, bit faster movement speed and a faster stray speed, which is going to make this gun a little bit better in the mobility category than that of the Kilo, obviously. So we're going to look at the stats of each weapon, break down that time to kill, and showcase why these are two guns should definitely start using. So obviously what you guys can see on the screen is the time to kill chart I use in almost every single video. AMAX in purple, Kilo in orange, M4 in blue. The biggest factor in my opinion what makes this AMAX so good is that time to kill is almost 150 milliseconds faster than the M4 and even faster than that of the Kilo up to its base range of about 35 meters, which is excellent. And like I said, the biggest factor you take out the Kilo and the M4, you take that AMAX and compare it to the MP5, which everybody knows is probably the best close range weapon, it beats it and time to kill at every single range. Obviously, MP5 is a little better mobility by a long shot, but if it has a faster time to kill the most popular weapon, this is going to be the best gun to use, especially with 250 health. It's going to do a lot of damage. And in my opinion, what makes the AMAX probably the best gun to use right now is when you compare that damage per mag data to the MP5. The MP5, obviously, as you guys know, only kills up to about 11 meters. So if you take that 10 meters, you're still doing 360 more damage with the AMAX and the MP5, which is a hold down on an enemy. And as soon as that MP5 drops off of that 10 and a half meter range, you are now doing 750 more damage at 11 meters and plus than you are with the MP5, which is three downs of an enemy. This is where the AMAX, in my opinion, absolutely excels and beats every gun in the game because you're doing 700 more damage than the best close range weapon. This is a god gun in the close range for you. Like I said, even when you take a look at the M4, take out the AMAX, just compare the M4 to the Kilo. Obviously, all up to about 42 meters, it's faster in killing. And even if you use the M16 barrel, it's going to have the same range basically as the Kilo, which added like 45 meters instead of 42. But it has a faster time to kill. The biggest factor for me, what makes the M4 better, is going to be in the stats of it. The mobility, your movement speed, strafe speed, and ADS is absolutely 100 times better than that of the Kilo, which we'll take a look at right now, which is where I think these class setups completely beat the Kilo because with that Prowler Barrel, which I know probably 99% of you guys are using, it chunks the Kilo harder than any barrel. It might help it the most with the recoil and the range, but the mobility gets the worst out of every long barrel. So when we take a look at the stats, so when we take a look at the stats, obviously, like I said, the Kilo gets the most range, which is excellent. 
but in exchange you get that most range you're getting the slowest ads by a long shot you guys can see 120 milliseconds slower than the m4 which is why i absolutely love the m4 the ads is incredible with that tack laser even the a max is still significantly faster which is one of the negatives about it the biggest factor when you go look at your movement speed you can see the kilo once again is in last place in the movement speed category and then your straight speed the m4 is slightly better which you really won't notice so your movement speed is the worst your straight speed is a little bit worse your ads is significantly worse the biggest factor once again even looking at another stat is your reload time is once again the slowest so in every single way there's a lot of stats that the m4 is being it in and when you add Obviously that custom course marks when your hip fire is not as bad. So it's a little bit better hip fire as well. So it beats it almost every stat besides time to kill above that 45 meters, which in my opinion is what makes it excellent. And if you take a look at the recoil pattern, you guys will see on the screen. That's the one thing a kilo has going for it, is that vertical recoil. In my opinion, it's not as consistent as everyone thinks. It has no recoil, but it pulls up to the left and it's not as consistent which is why to me it has the lowest percentage of accuracy as far as my M4, my Amax, and my Kilo personally have a better accuracy, which we're gonna take a look at my personal stats real quick to showcase to you guys. So the biggest factor I wanna take a look at here is when you take a look at the M4, you obviously can see I have an excellent accuracy with it at 23% tied with the Growl. The Kilo is the lowest at 21%, the Amax is 22%, it's a little bit more accurate than the Kilo. The Kilo has the lowest percentage, which is the amount of shots I actually hit. That's the biggest factor for me. When we take a look at your headshot accuracy, the Kilo is actually the lowest out of every single assault rifle. Amax and M4 both a lot better in headshot percentage, which is a huge factor for me. So when you take a look at the category, you break down all the stats that matter. The only thing that Kilo has going for it is that mid-range damage and that no recoil. We take a look at the time to kill of the Amax, movement speed of the Amax, the accuracy of the Amax, the headshot percentage, all the reload times, everything. It beats the Kilo along with that of the M4 as well, which in my opinion is where I definitely think the Amax right now is the best gun to use in Warzone. You can see even at the max range, it has a faster time to kill at every single range and especially at the max distance, which is for the a max me above 68 meters it still has a faster time to kill in the kilo so that's what makes it excellent i just thought i'd upload this for you guys because like i said i i first started using the amax and m4 i have not used the kilo in a while and i just think these guns are better we take a look at your overall best class setup which you guys know is one of the nerdiest things i do i look at the best stats of all those classes and i compare everything head to head the kilo only wins in like two out of the ten things that matter which is something I personally like to build my class steps around. It's how to build a gun better than a different gun. So if you're using the Kilo with the VLK, the Prowler, the Commando, you're getting the worst stats of it. So I recommend trying out a different class step with the Kilo. Run the SOCOM barrel. It definitely is going to be just as good and have a significant improvement to your class setup or try using the AMAX or the M4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys learned anything new, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel down below if you guys are new. If you guys haven't yet follow me on twitch make sure you guys use my discount code on all of your scuff and gfo purchases and i'll see you if you guys want to know where i stream every single day twitch out to you backslash trap god if you guys want to come follow me live on twitch i stream modern warfare and warzone every single day so if you guys want to come follow the stream every single month i do subscriber giveaways for g fuel and scuff controllers so if you guys want to cover the stream and obviously click that follow button I would very much appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.